You have been up in the... Hello. I'm sorry to interrupt, but I'm back. Okay. okay. And let me just make an announcement. This is, what is the day's date? This is April 12, 2017. We are doing full moon readings, and I've got two special people in my little group tonight. Wish there could have been more, but I'm thankful for the two who are here because they're meant to be here. Anyway, that's my little intro. This is, by the way, Cherokee Billy, because I will probably put this up on YouTube, okay? So you can hear this later. Okay? And okay. and don't, if you object to that in any way, let me know. Nobody's going to know it's you, bottom line. How many people you know are going to find this video out of the trend billion videos on YouTube? Right? <laughs> right. Yeah, okay. yeah, you know, so don't worry about it like some people. And I never say last names or anything like that. But let me get to my little thing. Uh, Victor, just so you know, Trina has done uh, full moon readings with me before. Oh. Yeah. 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 Why don't you share with him? She's been a client of mine for several years. And this is her favorite. Can you tell him what you like about it, please? Well, yeah. Um, this reading here lets you know about your present and um, the things that you're going through in the future and, like, the outcome. And it helps to put you at ease and to, you know, know what you've kind of been through also the past and also just a, a good you know, way to learn where your strength and your, your spirit guides are coming from and how they're going to help you on your journey in the days to come. And it's just to give you a relief or either just like a way to cope with what's going to happen, you know, and just prepare yourself better, honestly. You know, it's just, um, you know, you never really key into everyday life stresses, and this here really helps with that. It really does. You know, I've, I've overcome a lot of fears, a lot of trying times in life, and just holding on, knowing that things are going to get better, or that I'm getting strength and energy from some other source to help me during that time. And knowing that they're there and being able to acknowledge it is really, really, really good. So, you know, it's not so much just like asking a question and getting an answer. It's, it's more of a life solution going on here. <laughs> yeah. This yeah. Is not, yeah, what I like about it is there is no, you aren't allowed to ask questions. I love that. I get to shut people up for a change. <laughs> but, you know, that's the point. This is a real reading uh, that's different than anything I do normally, and Trina usually gets them regularly on a full moon and new moon. Because she says it helps her more than when she asks her eight million questions. <laughs> hey, believe me, a normal reading, I'm sitting there. I feel like I'm a what are you, like a hockey, a goaltender in a hockey game, having to hit the puck out. You know, <laughs> so many questions being fired at me. I feel like a goaltender. My favorite goaltender has been out this whole year, by the way. I love hockey. Just pointing that because we're coming up to the playoffs. But what we're going to do is let me just give you a little rundown here about the full moon, why this is a special time to get readings. People often don't understand the power of the full moon. It, well, let's put it this way. The moon controls the ocean cycles. It controls many things that happen. The pull of the moon on the Earth, that gravitational pull, and it has a lot of effects physically on Mother Earth and uh, spiritually. Like, okay, doctors and hospitals usually like to know when it's a full moon because they know they're going to be busier, more problems. Mm -hmm. And why do people go crazy on the full moon? I think that energy that comes through because they're so out of touch spiritually with themselves, especially with themselves, more than with spiritual. Let's just say they're out of touch with themselves. And when that energy comes through, they don't know how to handle it, so they go berserk. That's my opinion. 
You know, I can't state that that's a fact, but that's my opinion. And what makes this full moon special is, in this is based on Native American teachings, but I'm doing a lot of this on the full moons, is that this is a time when, you know, all the snow and frost has fallen off of everything. And in ancient times, they would celebrate big time, like uh, that you... They had not had meat or eggs, and it would be eggs. That's one of the reasons for Easter eggs. But it's uh, this was a time of, you know, abundance was coming in. And so it was usually a huge celebration on this full moon. And not just through Native American, but through any uh, country where the people pay homage to the moon and to the sun. The sun is the... Uh, energy of the god, the father, and the moon is the energy of the female, the goddess. So there's always, a in Japanese, the yin and yang, uh, an opposite to everything. And that's what this really is, is, you know, the sun gives us incredible power. We know that, but the moon does as well. But it's a gentle, it's that feminine, feminine I can't say it, feminine, spirit, I can't say the word tonight, that comes through, and that's what gives so much power to it, in my opinion. And this one, again, was a celebration unlike most, because they were coming out of a time of hardships. You know, in our today world, well, we still have our hardships. So let's look at that tonight and say, okay, for you, all the three of us here, we're all coming out of the hardship of the last two seasons, which would have been winter and fall. So we're coming out of that. And we're now moving into spring, and spring is a time of renewal, re-energizing and renewal. Okay? Does this make sense? Yes. Yes. And that's why, why it's special these times, and I always uh, encourage people, like in my newsletter, both of you get it, you know, I usually state something you can do to acknowledge, uh, you know, your guides, or just be grateful in general, you know, do special prayers like candles, incense, whatever, anything, you know, to give not uh, acknowledgement to those that are helping you, the invisible ones that are around us. And I encourage even after this conference tonight that you do that. Okay? Okay. Good. All right. So why don't we start, since you're an old pro, Trina, we'll leave you. Let's take Victor first here. How's that? Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. The first statement in this is, now, this is not just to let you know, both of you, why I made this a discount. Not only is it a group, but I'm not doing every single one of the questions I would do in the complete full moon reading. But I'm picking the main ones out of this. And that is, what energy is this full moon bringing you? And that's you, Victor. So what is it bringing you? Let me just tune in here. Well, it is definitely for you. You've been through a lot. This is definitely a rebirth, a renewal of you. You are starting life over again. I know you know what that means. Yes. And this is, and this is not a negative thing. What you went through was not easy, but the point is you're now being born again, so to speak, renewed into a new spirit of light, energy, you've got more of the positive energies around you, the positive spirits, than you had at another, any other time. Also, I think you're becoming far more aware of your spirituality and what is occurring around you. Am I correct? Yes. And that is a good thing, you know, because it was going on around you all these years. You just didn't notice it. Now you're tuning in, you're paying attention. So that is what this is bringing you 
is renewal, rebirth, and awareness. Yeah, it's very important. Definitely. Yeah. Yes, and that is what I want you to hold on to, that that's what this is bringing. Now, the next part of it is, what should you release going into this lunar cycle? Well, uh, wow. That's, wow, we got a list here for you. Um, okay, let's go back to the part about born again, rebirth, whatever you want to call it. You should let go of who Victor has been all these years. Let go. Release that into the past. Release any negative energies that have been around you. Release them into the light. Let everything go. And like tonight, after, I'm going to do a prayer at the end of this. But uh, let everything go into the moonlight tonight and be cleansed by the goddess. Best way I can put it. Okay. So if you release and let it go into the spirit world, and um, I say release it to the moon because it's a visual. We can look at the moon. If you go outside tonight, you'll see how bright it is. It is not necessarily pink. It is called the pink moon because of a certain plant that grew at this time of the year. That's why it was often called the pink moon. But you'll notice how big it is. And you can just, you know, give some acknowledgement to the moon, the goddess of the moon. And give thanks and ask for the moon's energy to come into you. Very good thing to do let that energy come into you okay that and the next one on here is what should you embrace well I think you should embrace your new life your new going forward that you know yes you're still in the same body it's still you but you are born again you are new that's what you should embrace and let go of anything that is not serving you, that is not helping you, that is not making you feel good, that disturbs you, makes you unhappy, anything like that, let it go. And that could be something from internal or external. Say you had a noisy neighbor or something, let it go. Whatever is not right for you, let it go. That makes sense? Yes. Okay. Now, that's what you should embrace. And then what energy should you work on bringing to you this cycle? Oh. Well, I would say the energy that you should be bringing to you right now, and I said that from the first reading, is the white light pulling that in as hard as you can all the time. I know you've been practicing it, and I'm glad you have, but keep doing it. Um, just today, I have this woman, she's called me three days in a row, uh, and she got scammed by uh, these psychics who claim they got, she has a curse on her, and they can remove it, and she paid them a couple of thousand dollars for this. Sure. And, uh, and I told her, that she needs to protect herself in the white light against the psychics. I said, they can read you. They are psychics. And it doesn't mean that they're good. It's just, you know, they're taking advantage of her. And I've told her this and told her this. And today I just kind of almost, I go off on people. Trina will be the first to tell you, don't I? Yes, yeah, absolutely. When you aren't following, when I know it's for your best good, I... I usually reach a breaking point. And I did kind of with this girl today, I said, I've given you the tools to stop all this, and you just aren't using them, you know? That's you well, it is, because I'm here, you know, my job is to teach, of course, answer questions, but to teach and to do work, my spiritual work, the cleansings, as you know, uh, Victor and Trina, you both know, you both experienced it. 
and working on getting rid of negative energies. And, but again, I do give that tool of the white light, which when it was taught to me, it made a change in my life. And I know it works for everybody I've ever given it to. And again, it's free. So that's the energy you should pull in hard for you. Okay, is that white light. Just anything, anytime, anywhere. You can be in public. That's what I like about the white light. You can be anywhere and use it and people don't know, you know. Very powerful. Yeah, and like if you feel your energy being drained and say you're out in public somewhere, you just put that little shield, kind of um, see it going up around you, and it will help. You won't feel that drain so much. Now, let's get to your power animal. You know, like you sent me that picture of the vultures, that was interesting, you know, because again, people view them as negative, but they're not. So what I'm going to do is I use uh, in Native American medicine cards, the power of uh, the animals. So I'm going to shuffle these cards here. I'm starting. And when you feel I've, that I should stop, you tell me, okay? Okay. Stop. Oh. Okay, one second here. I came up with two. I'm going to have to real quick look. I do reference a book on this. I don't know everything on these. There's so many animals that it covers. Hang on, hang on, hang on. One second. I'm looking up. I got two cards, and I'm trying to see which one... I think is the most valid for you. One second here. At this time, again, and this is the animal to work with for the next, uh, from now to the next full moon. And this animal can stay with you or it changes. You know, we have many animal spirit helpers. Okay. But what I got from you was the mouse. And let me explain what the mouse is. Is scrutiny. A mouse. Yeah, and I'm going to read you. There's always a little poem to these. And it's, Mouse, if I could see the world through your tiny eyes, maybe then I would know how to scrutinize. Every detail carries weight and true to its purpose has its perfect puzzle place to stop the three ring circus. <laughs> you got to admit, your life's been like a circus for a while here. Yeah, that's for sure. So it's time it stopped. And again, use the power of the mouse with their observance, their eyes, the way they look around and observe things. Now, here's what it says also. If mouse is in your uh, path, this medicine is telling you to scrutinize. Look at yourself and others carefully. Maybe that big hunk of cheese is sitting on a trigger that will spring a deadly trap. Maybe the cat, maybe the cat is in the pantry waiting for you. Maybe someone to whom you have De delegated authority, such as a doctor, a lawyer, or even a plumber, is not doing the job faithfully. The message is to see what is right before your eyes and to take action accordingly. Does that make some sense there? Yes. And I always encourage people, you know, like, go on the Internet and look at pictures of mice or if you can buy a mouse figurine, have it around, just to remind you that this is the animal that you're working with, and the gift is scrutiny. The mouse is going to help you scrutinize everything you see more. Okay? That makes sense? A lot of sense. I know. It's always remarkable what comes through with these animals. I... Trina, she'll tell you, 
she loves these readings. Because yeah. it's always so good. Now, let's see what angels are giving you guidance or helping you. Okay, so give me a moment here and let me tune in and see which angels. I'm giving you your power animal to work with and also the angel probably always been with you but one to work with again for this moon cycle. One moment. Hang on. Interesting. I'm getting two angels around you that, and these are just to work with, again, through this moon cycle. The first I came up with is the angel of forgiveness. In other words, ask this angel to help you forgive yourself and anybody who's done any damage or wrong to you, but mainly to forgive yourself. Hmm. Does this make sense to you? Uh, yes. Okay. I think it should, you know, what it's about. Because I'm sure you have a lot that you've dealt with. I don't want to say too much, you know, in this, because it's recording and Trina doesn't know you. Uh, but I know that you've went through a lot and there's probably a lot of guilt that you feel. Well, that's the point. The angel of forgiveness is there, and he, she, whatever you want to call the angel, is with you. And just call. All you got to ask is, angel of forgiveness, help me with this. Let me forgive myself. Okay? Okay. And the other angel I get around you, is real funny how these two are, is the angel of freedom. That you're now free to make choices in a different way than you ever have before. And again, call upon this angel. Okay? The angel of freedom. Hmm. Okay. And remember these two angels. So, this is what's happening for you this full moon cycle. It's a lot. It truly is. I said these are, and you know, so few people take advantage of these full moon readings. I only have a few clients who understand their importance and get it, and Trina happens to be one of them. And uh, it's, it's just so much that is coming through. So we're at the end here for you, Victor. So you're, I'm going to do my best to try to record this, and when I do and get it up on YouTube, I don't know if it will be tonight or tomorrow. I'll send you the link when I do, okay? Great. No problem. Now we come to my little prize pet here. <laughs> Miss Trina. Oh, yes. my God. Okay. All right. Let's start. You know, you're an old pro, so let's just dive in. What energy is this full name bringing you? Well, I think it's bringing you a lot of uh, get up and go and finally realizing it's all about you. <laughs> yeah. I think that's what it's all about, this move. That it's, you're finally getting it. You know, it took uh, only so many years of someone trying to kick it into your head, but finally it penetrated. Yeah. So the energy it's bringing you is that awareness of your own self-power yep. and how much you can accomplish. And you can do more than you think. I've always told you that. You never, you always have a lot of doubt, but you can, you're a very smart woman, very smart. And you can get farther than you think. And you can go at a quicker rate. I think things are accelerating at this point, starting tonight. Okay? I think you're going to feel an acceleration of the energy around you. 
it's great. It is. It. You do. You really need it. So, you know, tonight, again, give thanks for this that is coming through to you, all right? Because okay. you've needed this. I know there's this wonderful woman who's tried to get this through to you, and it's wonderful it finally it connected. Yeah. It's been a while. <laughs> yeah, it has. And I really like that woman, by the way. She's great. She's my hero. And people who are listening, I, that's me I'm talking about. I've been trying to get through the arena for years, and it's finally breaking through. It's like, thank you, God. You know, I mean, I think maybe, maybe it is... Uh, the end times, maybe Jesus is coming back. <laughs> he, finally, he finally got it. Maybe, hey, maybe it is the end of the world. I always kept saying that's what I felt it was going to take. But anyway, I'm glad. So this is a good thing. Now, what you should release going into this lunar cycle is everything, oh boy, um, let's just say this past year. You really need to release this past year. Erase it like you would erasing, you know, letters off of a chalkboard or something. Kind of picture your life the past year as a chalkboard and take the eraser and erase it. Okay. Well, doesn't that make sense? Yes. And I want you to visualize. That's the vision I was given. That's it. Letting go of all of that I've been through this past year. But I want you to visualize. Write it down on paper or whatever. Or visualize writing it and seeing everything on that chalkboard and then taking that huge eraser and erasing it. Okay. That's what I get. That's what you should release. And you do that tonight. This is your assignment tonight. Okay? Okay. Now, what should you embrace? Well, the new you. That you, again, like kind of like Victor, you're being born again. And you really are too because you are coming to finally a better place of understanding you. And that is a big thing. So embrace, you know, that that energy that is you, the power that is you. Acknowledge that you are the divine goddess. We all are. Okay? Yes. And you have stated things in a different way. I'm putting it this way. Consider yourself the divine goddess. All right. And if you keep seeing yourself as that, you will never be taken advantage of again. Others will see it too. Say what? You mean like others will see it too? It doesn't matter whether they see it or not, as long as you okay. do. But it, your actions will make them know they're in the presence of someone. Trust me, I learned it. Okay. You know, how to have that presence. Like when I, you know, Victor knows I'm bedridden. But when I am with people, I command everything in the room. And I'm a little old woman in bed. <laughs> but I know who, <laughs> but I know who I am. Okay. Right. And I, I use my energy, not in a negative way, but it's like, no. You know, you can't just treat me like I'm, you know, when you're sick and in bed, people treat you like you're really not all there. Not with me. You aren't going to do that. You know? Good. Yes. But I, I'm bringing up that point, and that's what Trina needs. So that's the energy you should be bringing in, working on this cycle, you know, the next 28 days. Pulling in harder than you have been. 
So make that part of your ceremony tonight, you know, pulling in that powerful goddess energy. Mm -hmm. And there are many goddesses, and let me make... Let me name the goddess that I feel strongest about this month, and that is the goddess Isis. And no, it's not a terrorist. She was an ancient Egyptian goddess, and she was a beautiful cat that I had. And her energy is very powerful. She showed up last night and jumped up on the bed, and I saw her. Wow. Yes, and it's coming up for two years since she passed. But she was so powerful, so beautiful, and a true goddess, and she always knew who she was. She was a very ancient soul and a power animal. She definitely was that. So uh, think on her energy, and remember, that is the goddess. The goddess Isis is a powerful, and it really angers me that they use that word. It's a disrespect. So many people feel this way about what they use that word for terrorists. And then when I mention the name ISIS, people say, how dare you say that terrorist name? Because unlearned people don't know that she was a goddess. It existed, you know, tens of thousands of years ago and still does exist, really. She has never died. And I do not think it's right that they use her name. I get very angry over that. Anyway, now, that's my personal opinion on that. But your power animal, what spirit animal is currently on your path? So let me shuffle the cards and let's go through it, Trina. Okay. You tell me when. Oops. Hang on, I'm losing the cards. All right. Okay, now. All right, let's see what we got. Whoa! <laughs> and I know you. I got the spider. And I know your love of insects is so powerful. Wow. I keep, wait, I got to look it up. I don't know this one. Weaving. You understand weaving, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, and here's the little poem. Spider weaving webs of delight. Weave me a of delight. Mm. We weave me a peaceful world, carrying creation in your web, waiting to be unfurled. So you're creating a new world for yourself and for others, and a world of peace. We need to all envision that in this crazy ass world. So. Wow. Now, let me explain what else spider means. It says, if spider has dropped from her web into your life today, she may be telling you to create, create, create. How's that? Yeah. Look yeah. for new alternatives. Listen to this. This is so accurate for you. Look for new alternatives to your present impasse. She can also be warning you that you are coming too close to an entangling situation. Spider could be asking you to use a journal to write out and review your progress. If you do this, you will not forget how you are creating a new or different phase in your life. That is so accurate for what's going on for you right now. Uh, what? Write out everything that I'm doing? Well, kind of like, you know, you do sometimes keep a journal, but let me go back. To write out and review your pro progress. So write out like you usually do these readings and just kind of make notes every day, you know, of what you've done. So that at the end, again, of this moon cycle, you can look back and see what you have woven, what you have created. Okay. I think that was a very accurate. Um, Get that. I think that was very accurate for you at this time. And again, you know, I'll have this recording up, so you'll be able to listen to it again. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. I just can't state when. I'm a little tired, so it may not be tonight. But I'll get it to you guys when I do. Now, the next thing is what angels are giving you guidances this time. Well, let's take a little look here. One minute. It's going to be interesting. Hang on. One minute. Wow. I get one. The Angel of Mercy. And that is, this angel gives, you know, you uh, the capacity to have divine mercy upon yourself, number one. To be kind to yourself, accepting of who you are. Really embracing who you are. You're very much on the verge of doing that. And that's what that angel is for. Oh, Again, good. go ahead. Say what? That means I'll start, you know, loving myself more for who you I am. You got it. You got it. And then there's another angel coming in, the angel of power. And this isn't about you controlling the world or something, but it's about embracing the divine love the power of God and the angels and using them to surround you and protect you. So these, this is the main angels around you. And again, they're always there, but I think at this time, again, we're working with this moon cycle. But those are the ones to work with. Oh, this is very good. Right. Oh, Thank you. Very accurate, yeah, actually. Yes, it is. I mean, it was so accurate, it blew my mind. And uh, I think for you, Victor, you felt an accuracy to what came through, right? Oh, yes. And what's good, you know, you don't know me well. You're new in my life, but you're getting to hear me with other people. And, you know, the impact, like for Trina, has been a significant growth in her life. We've worked together about two years now, yeah. almost two years. And she's really went through a lot. And she's finally getting it. I only have to scream and hit her up the head a few times a day now. It used to be every five minutes. Now it's only a couple of times a day. <laughs> progress there. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> you know, and, and it is. And, you know, tonight, both of you, you know, do something special for this full moon, okay? Light your candles. Do If you got incense, uh, light it or flowers, any around you, you can bring to you. You know, and just give, again, go out, look at the moon, and acknowledge, say a prayer for the power that it's giving you, the angels, the animals, everything that you've got in these readings here tonight. And what I'd like to do now is bring this to a close, but with a prayer, okay? So if everybody can close their eyes and... Oh, great creator of our being, thank you for this time we've had together tonight, sharing and learning what it is that you're bringing into our lives in this powerful time of the year and in your power and your glory. We thank you for this, for all the blessings that you're giving out tonight. We acknowledge the, the full moon, the goddess, the goddess Isis bringing in her power, her clarity, her clairvoyant self to each one of us here tonight in this circle. And we are in a circle of three holding hands, even if we're not together. We are connecting our energies together as one and pulling on all that is divine, bringing it into our circle in the midst of us. 
you know, it says that where people are joined together in prayer, there is power. And tonight we're pulling on all the power of the universe, God, the goddess, the angels, spirit guides, ancestors, everybody come on down and be with us tonight. Bless us. We need you. We need your help. We need your strength. We need your guidance now and always. And we thank you for all the blessings you have given us and what you are going to give us. And we thank you for it. And we know that it is in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Well, I want to thank both of you for being here tonight with me. I really thank appreciate it. Very enlightening. Yes. Yeah. yeah, Victor, you were going to say something? No, I just, I just said um, it, it's just such a powerful message, you know. Uh, yeah. And, and it's I'm, so, so right on with the events that are going on right now. Exactly. And, you know, that's why I'm glad. I think the people that are here tonight were meant to be. And those others who did not choose to take advantage of this don't realize what they missed out on. You know, because this is different. This is not the normal, you know, finding out this or asking this or doing this. This is just letting the divine answers come through. And I find this to be the most powerful reading I do. So I want to thank both of you for being here tonight. And for anybody listening in the future, I hope you get blessed by these messages. And anybody who wants a full moon reading at any time, any full moon, give me a call. I am going to stop the recording. I thank everybody for listening. This is Cherokee Billy. Thank you.